Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers. Yeah. We are the riders. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome oh, to another edition of Burton Ballers and this is part three of our Rate This Transfer window. We've done the other two, we haven't seen the other two. Go and take a look at them now please. Before we get into Rate This um, window, you know what to do guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on all post notifications so we know if I make a video. Share this video and comment down below. Okay. And, and the lasagne, uh, and the last two videos, likes. I forgot to say, some uh, you're getting some good feedback in the comment section. People are saying they, they, they're quite funny, so they like you in the videos. Yeah. So, but although you may not be in all the videos coming forward because he's back at school, unfortunately. So. School for first time. Yeah, yeah, so he finished earlier today, that's why he's in this one. But, you know, I'll try and get him in as much as I can, include him in the videos, yeah? Right. Okay, so we're up to 2011-2012, Zane. So um, Ancelotti was shamelessly sacked in the changing room. It was a, we just finished playing Everton and they sacked him. Against Everton? Yeah, they sacked him while we're still at the ground. That was just shameful. I don't think, Wait, I think it was... How, how it was we and we that? finished second. Really I think we drew that nil nil, or did we lose that game one nil or three? I can't remember what the score was, but he finished second and he got sacked. Can you believe it? That's when Roman Abramovich was really ruthless. So along came um, AVB Andre Villas Boas, but then he did some good signings actually. So with, with Boas, we brought in Romelu Lukaku. Mm, not bad. Yeah, we brought in a guy called Oriol Ro Ro Romeo. Decent. You know, yeah, decent. He was okay for us. We bought Wamata, fantastic signing for us. One of our better, best signings. And then we bought in Raul Morelis yeah. from Liverpool. Again, one who helped us win the Champions League with his gold against Benfica in the quarterfinals. Gary Cahill came in and he won everything for us. Every single honour, um, domestic and European. And Kevin De Bruyne. So that was a great window, I think, for potential, not only for potential, but for players who are ready now. And so I'm giving this on an eight out of 10 window. It's a really good window. It's a pity We're that, it nine. it's a pity that Lukaku and De Bruyne didn't really, were well, left, let go oh, too Jose early. Oh, Jose Mourinho was, no, yeah. it wasn't. No, it, was, it wasn't Jose Mourinho. I actually hate Jose Mourinho. For doing that, yeah. Well, I, I hate him more with passion. He's, well, he let go of Salah, he let go of De Bruyne. If I was Lampard, he'll be nurturing him. De Bruyne would probably be better than he is now. <laughs> yeah, and then, so, uh, again, we sack a manager. AVB wasn't doing it, so he got sacked. He wasn't in his last the season. I know why Jose Mourinho was um, um, sold De Bruyne. Because he, he's never been a player before and he doesn't know what people feel like. He's like settling in and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, true, maybe. So, anyway, so we, we, we sacked him and Di Matteo came in and we won the Champions League that year. We won the Champions League. Champions League. Yeah, and so, no, we won the Champions League the year before, sorry. Sorry, that was with the Di Matteo. And Di Matteo then took over as a permanent manager, sorry. Mm -hmm. So he took over as permanent manager. And you know what? We, everyone was wanted Hazard. It's a bit like Havertz now. Havertz, Havertz, Hazard, Havertz, Hazard. So, you know, loads of big clubs came. And you know what he said? He announced, his, he was saying, who is he going to join? No one knew. Arsenal wanted him. Man U wanted him. Loads of other clubs. And he said, he felt, felt so good when he said this. He said, you know what? I'm joining the champions of Europe. Who are Chelsea? So Eden Hazard came in. Oh, the, 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 oh man. Then we brought in what, what were they called... The German Messi, but he wasn't really a German. He was a Messi player, but he wasn't really a German Messi. You never even heard of him, have you? Maric, Marco Marin. I don't think he played about two or three games for us. <laughs> Oscar came, and he was He's a good. Yeah, Oscar either. was good. Yeah, Oscar came in good. Uh, Cesar Aspilicueta, obviously, you know, obviously the rest is history with Aspilicueta. He's had a great season, great time with us. And um, Moses. no, Moses came back from loan. He was no, we bought Victor Moses. Sorry, we got Victor Moses from as well Wigan. from Wigan, and we got in Demba Bar from Newcastle. I actually rate Victor Moses. Yeah, 
So that's a great window, I think. That's a very good window. I'm, I'm giving, giving that a nine. a nine. I'm giving that a nine. So same for Hazard and Asper de Quetta for Ace and even Oscar. You know, Oscar was good up to a point. Oh, was, oh, so I'm, so, everyone's just going to ignore Victor Moser. So, yeah, he was okay. And the other guy. Yeah. So, 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 that, so for me, that one's like a, a nine out of ten for me. Right. Moving on now, so we've got the 1314 window. So manager 1314, Di Matteo had then by then got the sack. We had um, Rafa Benitez as an interim manager. And then the return of the special one, apparently. So the special one came in and he bought in Mo Salah. Then he got rid of him again. Oh, couldn't believe that. We bought in Matic. Goodbye, Matic. It was a very good buy. He bought in Samuel Etty on a short-term contract for us. And the best one of all, just when Tottenham done that, bought him over and done his medical, we stole William. <laughs> and we bought Andre Shirley as well. So that, for me, is... I'm giving that one uh, a nine. You know why? Especially because we stole William of Tottenham. So for that reason alone... No, I'm giving it an eight actually. It's not Wait, worth it's no, not worthy of a nine, it's an eight. I honestly feel bad for Tottenham fans. We yeah. stole him off Tottenham. <laughs> not only that, but we sold him to Arsenal after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that an eight actually. I'll give that one an eight. Yeah, because um, we sold William to Arsenal after that, I'll give it yeah. an eight. And then this one is definitely a nine because this helped us win the league that um, the year. Because Jose came in, he assessed what we needed, and then we bought in the only thing he did was sell Seller and and um De Bruyne, which I didn't like. Mm. But we got in Quadrado. It didn't quite work out. No, Remy was good for us. It's good. Does he, Quadrado still play for us? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He's gone now. Uh, Low Remy was good for us. We he came in. He did. A, he did a job when he when he did Luis. Um, uh, but he didn't play for Philippe Luis again. He didn't use him as well as he should. Two thousand thirteen. Of, 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 is the year with big big hair people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quadrado was two thousand fourteen though. And then Fab Fabregas. Fabregas and Costa were the two signings. Those were the two that allowed us to win the league. Brilliant signings. He took us to the next level. We also bought in Kurt Zuma. Um, Wait, what? Yes. Yeah, Kurt Zuma came in, but he didn't How really. He? he didn't start with us yet. But he came in, and I think he played a few games. I think he How actually he played now? in the League Cup final. Zuma. How old is he now? Zuma's about twenty-six, I think. Yeah. So what? we bought in. I thought he was a young star. No, no. He's been. Remember, he's been out on loan a few times. Twenty-four. I 20, literally always twenty-five or twenty-six. I think. This year, I always classify him as a young star. Yeah. So yeah. So we bought in Zuma. And we no, bought this was like 19 for years ago. So for me, oh, I can't remember. Look it up. I can't remember how old he is. He's 24, 25, I think. So yeah, so that window, did I say I'm going to give that a nine? Yeah, so could that one us the league? The window after that, that's quite the worst window under Abramovich ever. And that's going to be a two out of ten. Pato. An injured Pato. Who? Why do we do get Pato as a favour to his agent? Ridiculous. Matt Miazga never played for us before. Lonely man. American. And you know what? Was this, he American? Yes. And and this summed up the window because it's a it was a bodge job window, and we got a guy. It was such a bodge job. We even got a player called Dilly Bodgy. <laughs> so just to just to, just to, just to memor just commemorate the window by getting in Dilly Bodgy. <laughs> bodge job. No, he was poor. He was awful. He yeah, they played for us. He's, he's the only one of his and names I actually know. We bought in Kennedy, and Kennedy's kind of played and then went out on loan a lot. Is he Brazilian? The only decent one we got was the Pedro. Is, I don't know any of these people except for Pedro and... Um, yeah, I don't know Bougie. Baba Rahman. You know Baba Rahman, yeah, remember but, but him? Bougie. And we bought in Beck, Be 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 Begovic as, 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 a, as, a, as a goalkeeper. <laughs> but for me, that was an awful, awful, awful window. A terrible window, 2 out of 10. Yeah, useless. Um, the year after that... Um, I've got to give it a s eight because these guys helped us to win the league. We bought back David Luiz. We bought in Marcus Alonso. We was ideal for the way that this is now the manager at this time. Actually, obviously, Jose Mourinho had a disaster spell. Not surprised oh, after Gossiging. that. No, Gusigin took over as an interim. Then it was a. Uh, um, Conte. Conte. Yeah. So we bought in David Luiz. Alonso, ideal yeah, for this 4 3 3. 3 4 3. Yeah, yeah, but it's amazing. came back on loan and he played as a right winger, didn't he? Then we brought in Eduardo just as a, a backup goalkeeper. Obviously, Angola Kante, 
great buy. Batshuayi, oh. Batshuayi is a, he's obviously scored a winning goal in when we won the league against West Bromwich Albion. West so for that. And then we brought in Hector. Then was it was him? No, West Brom. Oh, Tottenham were playing with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, that's another eight out of ten window because it helped us to win the, the win the league. No, these are, these are like all these people I recognise, especially uh, Kante. Just yeah. So it. these are can more now your era. And then this one, this is a poor one as well. I'm giving it a four because we spent so much money and wasted it on dross. The only one who was valued for money in 2017 and 18 then was Olivia Giroud. He's the only one who was valued for money. Ross Barkley came in, you know, he came in fairly cheap, but this he still is hasn't. very average. But then drink water, what a waste of money. 40 million on drink water. Can you he, believe he that? Just be, I'll hand out yeah. water to and Zappa Costa. Okay, he scored that. Remember, yeah. he, he made, made the cross though, the wasn't thing it? Is, the thing is, um, he was better in that um, thing, wasn't he? He's was better in that um, Domino's Pizza where we served, remember, <laughs> outside the ground. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, um, I feel like Zappa Costa might have not been that bad, but uh, no, the he fans, was. But the thing is, the fans just think he's like that bad, and also the manager think no, he's he that was bad. bad. Because, Daddy, listen to me, listen to me. Because, um, yeah, I don't mean. He was he wasn't as bad as they marked him. He was but, but because Daddy, um, literally he was, he was running down the wing. He scored a screamer. Yeah, so people, but put their, put, people put their expectations really high, and I mean they were just dropped. So like he might. No. People put their expectations high. No, they didn't. And what they marked him was there. No. So probably it was just him. No, 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 no. When he bought, when we bought him, he didn't come with a big reputation. He scored a good goal. I think his expectations didn't get high for me because that wasn't even. A, it was a cross for me. It wasn't even a good. He was just he went to cross it, and he was just. Uh, Run down the wing, fl fly. He reminded me of a young a player we used to have back in the day called Jesper Donka. He just crossed it. His crosses went all over the place. He couldn't cross the ball. He just hit, kick and run, and cross the ball over aimlessly. So, no, and, and he poor. scored. That. And he scored. And a lucky goal. Yeah. Anyway, no, he, he right. Anyway, it. anyway. Uh, time, time, time zone. Uh, Morata, uh, Morata again. He started off brilliantly for us, didn't he? Oh, then he got no. He's, he's just got no heart. That guy. He just lost it. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah he's I a remember, confidence Astor, player. I remember Astor Quetta and Morata. Yeah. He's had a partner. There. He's a bit of a confidence player. He's got any he because he's, he's yeah. He, we, we were warned about him actually because the um, Italian goalkeeper, what's his name, Buffon, was, was mentioned about his frail character, and so yeah, he was he was he was poor. Um, and Bakayoko, you know, again another guy who had no confidence when he was playing for I can't Chelsea. Really back him. And the worst yeah. game, but Watford game, epitomised how poor and short of confidence he was. And then Rudiger, you know, the rest is history. We don't, we don't want to talk about Rudiger. <sighs> mm. So for me, that's a four out of ten window. Six poor, right. poor window. And that's what drove you Conte. Every that's what drove person. Conte to leave the club. You know. Can I tell you something? Eh? You underrate every single person, and then when they leave, he's like, "Oh, that's goodbye. That's goodbye." No, 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 no. I'm going to be realistic. Four out of ten. Um, and eighteen, nineteen. Um, again. Oh, six for me. Higuain was didn't was a fail. Kepa, really we spent good. we panic bought Pe Kepa for seventy million. I'll never think of us for doing that when we should have bought Allison. Um, Kovacic is decent, and then we bought a niche player in Jorginho. Jorginho is only good for one manager, and that's um, Sorry. Uh, Sarri. And anyone else we'll is not six. great. So I'm giving it a what did I give it? A four, five. five yeah. Five. Give it a six. Now five, and then obviously last year was transfer ban, but I'm even giving it a higher one than the one before and the one before that. I'm giving it a six, seven. You know why? Because although we were transfer Wait, ban, we, we were smart enough to get Christian Pulisic. So, you know, we bought him before, you know, we bought him in the, the, the this, in the December, but we couldn't, oh, it wasn't, a, ban. yeah, so it was a ban, but then we, we managed to secure the deal of Pulisic. So I'm giving that a seven, because obviously okay. Pulisic seven is, you know, I'm so eight, yeah, it go. comes to something when we're on a transfer ban, but we're still a better windows than the two previous ones of that, yeah. Mm. So guys, that's it guys. That's our three part series on rate this, uh, uh, rate this, uh, transfer window. So w we want you to comment below guys. Give us your best transfer window, your worst transfer window. Are you happy with our markings? Uh, should, should some be a bit higher? Should some be a bit lower? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on all post notifications so we know if I want to make a video, share this video, and comment down below. Um, 400 likes please. Okay guys, see you later. Bye-bye. And can we also get 5,000 subscribers by the end of September? Take care.